Uh, today, we will introduce our main XH hybrid inverter and our backup system S1N installation with APX battery. The first section is system introduction. Our main XH is our latest version hybrid inverter. Power range is from 2.5 kW to 6 kW. And this one is very smart. So this one original is a PV inverter and we just add battery terminal to this inverter so it can work as a PV inverter. Also, if customer want to do uh, uh, hybrid, they can just buy battery and add to this inverter. And for backup with this uh, mean XH, we're using S1N, and this one support a power backup up to 6 kilowatt. And this one integrated brick, a breaker and a meter. It's very easy for installation. This is the diagram for the whole system. We're connecting two panels and batteries to our main XH inverter and connecting to S1N. And this one will supply for the uh, AC to the main XH and will transfer power from main XH to the backup load when the power is off, when the grid is off. And one thing you need to notice is maximum backup load is six kilowatt, but this number is reduced by is is uh, uh, reduced by the inverter. So if you install a 2.5 kilowatt inverter, the bank up is 2.5 kilowatt. If you want to achieve six kilowatt, you need to choose six kilowatt inverter. And also this S Y N support a maximum non bank up load capacity for 6 kilowatt. And inside of this uh, device, you can see there's a, a single phase meter and a breaker. An APX battery is our latest version is our latest battery. Each piece is five kilowatt. And this one need to take two hours to fully charge or fully discharge. APX is our uh, high voltage battery. So you need to connect to them like a string. And if someone installed our arc battery before, this arc battery need minimum two pieces of battery with one BDC to, uh, to get the start voltage. For APX, you can only install one battery with one BMS on the top. Also, our APX battery is IP66. This one can install outside. And there's no need to worry about the low temperature in the winter time because our APX battery can heat itself when the temperature goes very low. And our main XH is single phase hybrid inverter. Also, we have MOD and MID three phase hybrid inverter. They all using the same APX battery. The only difference is the single phase main XH using P0 model and the three phase MOD and MID using P2. You need to notice that and the APX battery each uh, each student you can ma maximum connecting to six battery that's thirty kilowatt and this one. Uh, there's no need to worry about the uh, SOC gap. Maybe someone installed our late, uh, old battery before. When you add new battery, you need to make the SOC very quick, quite safe to avoid the SOC gap. But this battery is, uh, this one can automatically 
can automatically uh, balance the SOC. So if customer want a new battery, you can just link them together and this whole system will do the automatically balance. Also, this uh, uh, high voltage battery, if there's a one piece battery have some problems when customer in use and the whole system will just isolate this battery and using rest of the battery. So we, we can quickly, uh, quickly check what happens with the system and we will replace the only 140 battery for customer if something goes wrong. The next section is how to install our main XH and SYN system. We recommend if someone want to install them outside, we, need, uh, we recommend you at least uh, build a shield or something else to protect the whole device. This is underneath of the inverter. There is one AC grid connecting to AC. And we're using a syscom port for communication. And USB port for, for dongle, for data logger. And also sometimes we're using this USB port to upgrade this the whole device. And battery terminal and two PV strings. Also, there's a DC switch here. This is underneath of S1. Communication port to communication with inverter. And grid port, you will install, you will get power from the grid through this port and go into the inverter. This bank up load always power on. This port always power on. And when the AC is on, this bank up load will get power from the grid or the inverter. And when the grid is off, this bank up load will get power from the battery to the inverter and go into the circuit. Also, if customer has like a EV charger or something else, they can build in their circuit in this non-bank up load. This is inside of the SYN. First connecting to the inverter. and going to inverter AC port. And for communication, for the main XH, we're using pin 1278 to communication with battery, and using pin three, pin four to communication with SYN. This is S1 communication port. We're using AB for communication. We're using AB to communication with inverter system COM port. And for the battery, we're using 1278 to communication.
this is a picture shows the installation connecting to AC and communication. This one is a dongle and the battery terminal and the PV. This is as well. And one thing you need to notice is make sure you turn off this breaker, this breaker when you installation. And for APX high voltage battery installation, it's quite the same. When you open the box, there's uh, uh, some part you will get from the box. Make sure they all there. If you lost something, you can contact Gruot after sales office. We can send the lost part to you. For the battery, there's a battery positive and negative terminal and link in, link out for communication with parallel battery. Also, sometimes we can do update using US USB port. This is a separate BMS. This picture shows uh, this is a P2 model for uh, to using for a uh, surface system. And for me, XH, you need to make sure you're using P0. Also here has a screen from the P0. You can see the state of charge and um, how many battery already linked and if the system is working or something goes wrong from this LCD screen. This is the right side of the BMS. This battery positive and negative module connecting to the battery. And on the top, this three, positive, neutral, and negative connecting to inverter for power. And this is a communication to inverter port and communication to battery port. Also, there's a USB terminal to update or something else. On the left hand, there's a DC switch and expansion interface. So for our three-phase MID device, this uh, inverter can maximum connecting to two uh, uh, stack of the battery. Maximum is 60 kilowatt. And expansion interface, this one is, is for, um, for example, some customers, they have five or six piece of the battery. They want to stock them as two stocks. They can use in this part. And here is a, a fuse, two fuse. If something goes wrong, you can just replace the fuse to solve the issues. This is a, our installation picture, communication cable, positive and negative. Very easy for installation. And when you finish this uh, battery stock, you can just communicate, just connecting the BMS to inverter, positive, neutral, and negative. 